I think if you have confidence, if you look down the road at the best interest of your country and you are interested in security and prosperity, I would have confidence that Donald, Donald Trump, President Trump, despite what the, the newspapers are telling you and so on, I would, you can read the newspapers, but I would have confidence in you're going to go in the right direction. I've known the man for a long time. I've seen what he's accomplished. I know his employees, his kids. And, you know, I, I just would have a lot of confidence he's going to do that, despite what, what you read in the newspapers. In terms of the military, um, in terms of what he says, I think a lot of what he says, um, certainly from his base and from other people, are they're, they're saying, you know, these are, these are statements that should have been made should be made. Maybe not in the, they're in, out of context, they maybe sound a little different, but he's asking questions. He's trying to move the ball forward in security and prosperity in a way that I think you have to look down the road and see what is it, is it going to yield better lives for people, safer lives? Um, I think the answer is yes. I'll believe what the doctor says. I mean, he doesn't smoke or drink. So, which I think those are two good habits not to have, <laughs> generally. And I think he, um, uh, the doctor gave him some advice, probably advice he gives a lot of people. But he's in great health, and he is a president. Having known Donald Trump and his family for, I think, about 35 years, I understand I understand Donald Trump and the way he handles himself, you know, probably better than most people. And what I would suggest so if... what is that then? Um, just his personality and how he gets things done and how he, he looks at opportunity and how he has his pulse on public opinion um, pretty accurately. I mean, it was pretty amazing that he did what he did. And he beat, I don't know, there's 20 guys on the stage and women when he started the campaign. and. One by one, they were eliminated by a guy who would never run. I mean, I don't think the, the relationship's been damaged at all. And <clears throat> just having, you know, having been here since uh, August 24th, I can say in my meetings with government officials, business leaders, people both in the city of London, people outside the city of London, in um, Cardiff and Belfast and Edinburgh, uh, I sense a stronger relationship than I even expected. I mean, I think it's it's well uh, it's well established. You know, it's been going on for a hundred years, and so <clears throat> I think um, people understand the long term and they understand what the president wants to do, which is what they want to do. They're interested in security and prosperity. I think they work about as closely as you can get at this point. You know, we, we're embedded in each other's, we trust each other enough so that we have people, you know, from the RAF embedded in our, in our services and vice versa. So we train together, we design this plane together, uh, we do, we've been in combat missions together. Uh, General Mattis, when he was over here, said, I never go into battle without my, without my friends and associates and other countries, and he means that. So the, the British add so much to the safety and security of the world, as does the US, and as a partnership, we're that much stronger. I think um, it's gonna take a little bit of getting used to, but I've been there, I think, two days so far, and it just the, the capabilities of the embassy, the technology, the security, um, are going to be things that we appreciate going forward in terms of being able to do a job that we're, you know, that we're uh, we're obligated to do and we want to do.